Let me show you something real wonderful and real awesome about this, uh, these uh, draw bar settings, okay? Watch this. I'm going to hit the C, okay? You hear that C? Watch this when I hit the next one. What note is that? So wait a minute, check this out. When I pull this out, it's a C. When I pull this out, it's a G, okay? What, so when I pull these both out, I'm playing a C and a G at the same time. That's the awesome beauty of an organ is that when you pull out several, all right, let's try this, this is C. Mm -hmm, that's your C note, that's your C note. Let's pull out this black one. That's a G. So this is kind of like it from C to G, one, two, three, four, five, okay? That's actually a five. So it's, it's giving you octaves of, of fives, well, five from the C, or you can say four from the C if you count the D, one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, five. It's giving these magic fourths, okay? Now, from a theory standpoint, we know that adding fatness, those fourths, we were calling suspended, but they're actually really uh, suspended fourths or perfect fourths. Check this out. And let's get a, let's get a better. So if I was playing the keyboard by itself, I would play these perfect fourths, okay? To give a jazz feel. The organ already did that for you. They already added more harmonics this way by flipping the darker ones, okay? So that's the beauty of the organ. So now when I flip out, check this out, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go right here, right here. Now let me flip this, this, this fourth out. So that's the beauty of an organ is that it already builds in those fat chords you would normally do on the keyboard, they're built into the harmonics. So that's the beauty of an organ. So let me show you my personal settings and I'm gonna show you why I do this, okay?